so are you going to that vortex club party like i would miss it i have the sweetest outfit. sir ah hello max would you like to tell me what you wouldn't yesterday no no i mean i don't have anything to tell you more secrets now excuse me i have a meeting to attend and you still a bitch hello zach sup max it's weird to not see you without your camera I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini-drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. What does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. Then let's not. <laughs> You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. My nigga. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. What a dick. Hey, Courtney. Ciao. Really? Oh, like... I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Jesus, does everything really have to have a consequence? Or, I don't know, whatever. Whatever. I get... Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No. No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you. But it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? I shouldn't have said anything. You know about that video going around. Is that why you hassled Kate yesterday? I took a photo of that moment for surveillance sake. Soldier, you don't have the facts. You think I'm a hypocrite because I want cameras around here for the safety of the students? That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. And so the plot thickens. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Think, big brain. Think. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. Oh, we can go back. Hey, Warren. Maxwell's... I have that. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. Oh, damn. She blinded me with science. Yes! 
That was a blast! But, let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? This can't be that wonder why they don't use real skeletons. This is your way of so you attention. can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Okay. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. I guess we can't talk to him. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. You're not the only one. Do you have something you want to tell me? No. Not exactly. Never mind. Sorry. I have to go and work on my photo. You can talk to me anytime. And Max, can I talk to you about Kate? I assume you know about this viral video. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. I have no Listen, idea. should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Yes. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Vogue. I'm kind of doing Vogue. something now, Max. Dana, you are out of control. Turns That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. Then right. Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? You look like ass. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Damn, okay, never mind. Do you think okay, Max will be pissed we're together. sitting at her desk? Oh. Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Like all the other precious twee artists here. You really nailed me. Meow! Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Max thought we were going to be buds. Fucking ha ha. <laughs> Assholes. Still a bitch. Guess nothing changes, right? Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Can I do anything? Do I gotta wait? What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we you have later. a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student? Or a friend? I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over is. the world for I people really to judge. To Usually, to people need No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Oh, damn. Need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, 
we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. I'm willing to bet $5 at his gate. Is this for real? It slipped out! I didn't think she was that much. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's Kate now. She about to commit suicide? Kate! No! Oh God! She can't die! She can't! Not again! Not now! I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. pretty cool I'm just I can this is definitely going like this is just such a big event you can actually tell this is about to be the end of the episode here it's kind of sucks but if I had to choose a way to go off or to like to have it in I guess it'd be like this Power. Now I have to do this by myself? Did you come to get another Pulitzer shot like yesterday, Mac? Oh, so I guess we don't get a second chance at this. This is one of those things where you fuck up, you fucked. Okay, um, let's try... This, maybe, hopefully. I'm so sorry, Kate. I thought I could help, but not by taking a picture. I'm ashamed. I know you're scared of David. He's scary. And I know you only want to help. I let you down, and I'm sorry. I only want to help you. I wish you could. It's too late now. There's nothing for me here anymore. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. My heart is beating so fucking fast. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. I'll always be here for you, Kate. My new motto is, friends come first. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Mm. 
Ini me, my monkey, the people are really bad. Any me, my little black Joe? I wasn't sure what to do. There's been so much crazy shit going on. I, I can't even explain. Yeah, it's all about Max Caulfield. I can't trust you or anybody. What's the point? Oh, God, please don't. Wait, go. Kate. I'm sorry. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Oh, fuck, um... I'm not gonna say this. Uh, uh, please work. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Oh my God. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Oh my God, thank you. Forever. Fuck. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What the hell? Shit, I don't know the answer to this one. Um. What's his sisters? I saw that cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only ten. She okay, does have the best smile ever. I think it worked. I would hate to see her sad. Come on. Then make Lynn happy and step towards me. If she was here, you would know what to do. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. What the fuck? Okay, um... Shit. Come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will oh, give God, you rest. No. Matthew 11:28. I okay. can't believe you quoted one of my favorite passages. Did it work? Like I said, I care about you. I know this passage means a lot to you. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Holy shit. I fucking hate what this game. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. I hate and love this game so much right now. Now I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. We didn't do shit. Of course, you're quite the hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, 
Why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. I knew it was going to come down to this. Fuck. Um... I don't know, there's, there's always so fucking many serious choices. I don't want to mess with Nathan. Uh, I don't want to see a family ruling. Mr. Jefferson would seem like a logical choice, but... I don't know, like... Oh god, I hate this. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. Really? No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little... Shh. Are you gonna take this junkie's word over your security officer? I know she smokes and deals what? marijuana. That has nothing to do with Kate. Here's a photo I took of David and Kate yesterday. That's not... not proof. Hold on. This isn't a courtroom. But I feel it would be in the best interest of Blackwell and this situation to put you on temporary leave. We will continue this conversation later. Hopefully with Miss Marsh when she's out of the hospital. Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh! This is major bullshit! I led troops into battle, and you're letting this punk lead you? No. I am sorry, David. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Oh my god. Is this really what I really want to do? The sooner I sign this bullshit paper, the sooner Fuck I can it. get out of here. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? 
The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. Well, that was the end of episode two. I do hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, there's a lot of things we could touch on. Well, first of all, let's just say we did it. Kate's alive. Um, I'm happy for that. I really didn't want Kate to die, seeing as we didn't get a second chance at any of that. So, kind of sucks that we have to did put the well we put the blame on uh Chloe's de- stepfather. But I don't know. I feel like that was the best possible choice um you know just like there's like two stories to this game but to this story within itself is like everything that's going on in Blackwell and then there's also like the you know the stuff with the climate and not knowing what's going on with the weather and if the town's really going to be destroyed like they haven't really touched on that too much, so I'm excited to find out like what's gonna happen with that. Um, as for the choices I made, like I'm just really excited to see where they get me. You know, like I just like I, the decisions you made for Kate, like revolving around Kate in episode one and how they showed in episode two. Uh, just seemed like it made it much more difficult for me to uh, like you know help keep her alive or whatever. I'm, I'm, I wonder what's going on between Victoria and Nathan. I'm not too sure. And at the end, as you've seen there, they showed uh, Kate Marsh in a book. 
with a in like a red binder and Rachel's name was on one too. So I'm interested to see how like that plays out or how that unfolds. Like we still don't know exactly what's going on. Like it's too early to like make to like to jump to conclusions. Um just I'm really loving this game so far. Like it's this is really a good game and I just really want to see more of it. I definitely can't wait until episode three comes out. I'm on top of that as soon as it does is like today, March 24th, this episode two came out. Um, I do hope you guys enjoy this playthrough or walkthrough, whatever you prefer, as much as I am. And thanks for watching. If you want to see more, I'll definitely be on top of it. Just so you know, subscribe and stick around with me until the next episode. I'll definitely have it up as soon as I possibly can. But you know, other than that, thanks for watching. Until next time, pop in with three five out. Oh wait, I can't say that because we gotta look at some other stuff, yeah. Okay. So we took Kate to wait for more proof. We answered Kate call. Uh we tried to shoot Frank. That was that decision was a little bit iffy. Uh damn, a lot of people blame Nathan. I actually blame Dave and you know, some I mean I could see a lot of people blaming Nathan. Nathan. Kinda make me feel like I made the wrong choice, but it's whatever. Uh, we actually did save Kate, fortunately. Um, or the plant, whatever. We helped Alyssa this time. You erased the link to Kate's video. Why not? Uh, yeah, we were friendly with Taylor. You accept Warren's invitation. I kind of wanted to reject it, but whatever. It's too late for that. We didn't write a message. I didn't want to do that for reasons I explained. Uh, you didn't tell on David to Mr. Jefferson. You didn't help Warren. I didn't help Warren, really? I guess. Uh, I gave entry to the works tech club. Party, whatever. Tip it with the rope tracks, you didn't tip it with the rope tracks. Yeah, so those are all the choices. Ooh, episode 3 Chaos Theory looks so freaking beautiful. But like I said, I do hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you enjoyed the videos. Subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, Poppin' 135 out.